Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel and how he performs at 55% in the hidden potential system after his recent Extreme Z Awakening. So this guy got one as part of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA and his or oh, Extreme Z Battle and his EZA looks pretty good. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel obviously got an EZA a while back, but this guy's got a decent EZA. He raises attack and defense on his super, but he's very much a support based character. He has attack and defense of 120% when performing a super attack, has key plus 5 plus an additional attack and defense of 20% as the third attacker in the turn. He gives Otherworld Warrior category allies two key. And then he has the chance of performing a crit and a whole bunch of other benefits, which includes buffing his allies per Rainbow Orb. So he's pretty good. Um, he's definitely a hard third slot unit if you want to use him for hard content. Like he's he's kind of hard stuck in that third slot unit just because of how much he gains from being in there. Link wise, he's also got a very good, very versatile Saiyan based Link set that's great with other Super Saiyan units. And he's on a fair chunk of categories. Uh, you know, Otherworld Warriors, Super Saiyan 2, Goku's Family. Uh, he's on a fair chunk of teams, actually. So this Goku is pretty cool. Um, I actually think he's a surprisingly useful unit. Uh, obviously, with you know understanding that he is definitely kind of hard stuck in that third slot, third attacker kind of situation, which isn't the end of the world, but it is obviously something to be aware of. So yeah, but in general, just a very good looking unit. I uh, don't want to say he's a game breaking unit, but he gives Otherworld Warriors a lot of help. Um, Otherworld Warriors is a team that generally lacks synergy because of the fact Let's that you've got like really good units like Paikuhan, who don't kind of fit with any unit link wise. And similarly, you have a whole bunch of Gokus and Vegetas who don't fit with units like Angel Cell or Angel Freezer. So having a key unit and having a great support unit that you know, is just good in the third slot without needing his links is a very very good unit to have. So 33k defense, I know it doesn't look like a lot, it does go up a lot with his super but it's not going to be great in this third slot. Um, you know, it, it's never really going to look crazy in the third slot and there's a reason why, I mean sorry in the first or second slot. And that's because of how much is locked behind him being in the third slot. So we will take a couple looks at him uh, in the first and second. And then we'll take one look at him in the third to see the difference. Um, so you can see their attack stat didn't look too impressive. Defense would have been barely under 100k there, I think. Uh, which, again, isn't terrible. But obviously isn't blowing anyone's world um, by the stretch of the imagination. But obviously he still provided the support uh, there, which was great. But yeah, uh, definitely like good to see how he looks in the various slots here so yeah obviously the big thing is that he's not necessarily the world's craziest performer in slot one or two i, I don't think it takes a rocket science scientist to figure this out obviously he very clearly gains a huge buff in slot three but the, like i said the good thing is his support capabilities are very very good and so having him as a floating support that has you know good good defense and good damage in the third slot is not the end of the world obviously it's maybe not necessarily the like a situation everyone likes a lot of people like units that they can kind of you know move along the rotation but having a hard designated you know support for the other world warriors category isn't the worst thing in the world uh, which i think for me at least i find to be very very good so yeah um here we can see or we will see just um, probably his best performance in the first or second slot. He's got that 30% additional defense, but it's not going to do much to him. Like, he's not going to look, you know, insane at any point in the first or second slot. 1.7 million, really nothing too crazy or nothing to write home about. And he's got, you know, barely 100k defense. It's not huge. It's not something that, you know, looks incredible or or you think is like wow that's you know that wow that was really really big or that was really really good um 
obviously that's just not how he's designed like he's not designed to look impressive in those kind of situations so you know to critique him on it is kind of null and void but it is just interesting to see how well he does and compare it to how good he is in the third slot i think that's a very very important you know kind of mechanic so yeah obviously he's not going to look crazy um in you know this first or s second slot situation but his real time to shine is all that support he brings in the third slot the key he brings and his own performance numbers really do shoot up uh, quite a bit and he becomes a lot more impressive a unit which i personally think is yeah very good especially for the other world warriors team that needs this so yeah we're going to just activate all the support of Paikuhan. Um we're gonna get everything going and these units are all aiming at Ginyu so they will miss uh, their attacks which means we're gonna be able to see numbers from him uh, now the thing is you can't see his defense because obviously his defense doesn't change until he act actively fires his super attack in that third slot but it basically doubles so in this best case scenario is getting 100k he now gets around 210k so it's a very very sizable jump which is obviously very good you can see that in his attack stat he went from 1.7 in his best scenario to being 3.47 which is practically double so yeah very clearly he performs way better in the third slot so link wise this guy's got a pretty solid link set very very stable very very usable uh golden warrior prepared for battle super saiyan kamehameha uh fierce battle he's got a pretty solid pretty strong link set he actually links great with super saiyan units more than he actually does with other world warrior units like he links oh okay he links really well with the physical lr which i think is good uh, but yeah, he generally speaking links really well with any Super Saiyan unit basically. Uh, the LR Kid Goku, or sorry, the LR Gohan Youth, the AGL one, he shares full links with. Uh, he shares good links with a whole bunch of Super Saiyan Gokus, which is pretty cool. He doesn't have a lot of the you know, standard trappings of an Otherworld Warriors unit. So he links really well with the physical LR, uh, Goku and Vegeta. So yeah, in general, he's actually got a really nice link set super duper versatile he'll link well with one or two units on each of his categories okay so that's very very good obviously you want to link him with other world warriors units or use him on the other world warriors team due to his support capabilities but even as a unit on his own he's still a great floater like if he's not providing support to your team he still does decent numbers himself he can give himself crit he can give himself buffs he gives himself key, so it's not like he needs other world warriors to be successful. Whereas on the other world warriors team, he really helps to elevate the team a lot. Uh, this is a 55% Goku, so a 100% Goku will just be obviously quite substantially better across the board. But it's also really good to give him access to the potential system. Uh, I think obviously additionals is probably or prioritizing additionals is probably a good way to go with this guy although because he's so hard stuck or hard stuck in the third slot it's very possible that you could give him evasion or something like that to just try and make him a all-round support since he already basically has pretty decent crit capabilities at least from his passive nothing wild but at least something semi-reliable i personally would go majority additional though and then drop the rest into crit this should give him a pretty good chance to crit and fire additionals which will help him out defensively and offensively the evasion is a cool gimmick but other world warriors i don't see being taken into any end game content just yet so for me he's more so going to be a unit you're going to see on other teams and with him being on those other teams i don't think it's so necessary uh, to kind of gimmick his build or try to build him a certain way I think he's pretty malleable but i would have some additional because of the fact that he doesn't it's probably the only thing he doesn't really have baked fully into his kit so yeah i would consider that but link wise otherwise everything's looking great like i said very good links all around and yeah cool unit but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video so until then take care stay safe and bye